are. So today we're gonna be going discount luxury shopping in Japan and this was one of the most requested videos when we went to Japan and honestly I did not even know this was a thing you guys but you told me what stores to go to so definitely stick around. I felt like the last store we went to was the best one. If you guys enjoyed this video guys don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Also don't forget to tap that little notification bell to join Club Mar. But yeah let's get started. Alright guys so the first store we went to was Brand Off and they have a bunch of these and we went to the one in Ginza and it was pretty early in the morning and it had just opened so it was pretty empty. I honestly don't know how full it gets. But guys I was judging my discount luxury shopping experience based on this store and I will admit at first I was somewhat disappointed. So don't judge it based on this first store. Wait till the next one because I promise you it's gonna be so so much better. The place we're trying to find. Oh, I see Birkins. Oh wait am I going in the right direction though? $3,000. I'll insert the price conversion right here. More Fendi. Goyards. These are really good prices. Whoa. Goyard for $200. Yes. I think it's expensive. This guy is like $2,000, right? Yeah. And it looks kind of beat up. Oh, my God. Hermes. How much is this? <gasps> I feel like this is a good deal. Wait, I don't. Yeah. Is it four thousand? Yeah, that's kind of kind of like four thousand. That's really good for that bag. No, wait. Oh wait, <laughs> is it forty thousand? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh hell. <laughs> It's like, we found the best deal of our lives, Gordo. Get your checkbook, get your credit card, get your Japanese coins. No, those are 44,000. Oh my god. Okay, well, step away. Step away from the bag. So this is 9,000. I'm such an idiot. I was like, ooh, 900. I'm taking it. Taking all of them. I'll be like, you guys, you gotta break it, you gotta break it, you gotta break it. Everybody gets break it. So far, not so good. I feel like these sales aren't amazing. I was really hoping for like 50% off because that's what it said online. I feel like that's the price you can find a Birkin in the US. I feel like we can find bags that look like this for this price in the US. $30,000. Oh, just to this bag. Almost 40. It's not even that cute. I feel like that's not a cute bag. That's just me. I don't know. I like the pink ones. They're so pretty. Oh, they're so cute. We're going upstairs to see the clothes. Hopefully those sales will be better. Not that cute. So first floor, I think this is where they have most of the really nice bags or like the things that I've liked. Oh, remember when I was going crazy for this Blossom collection in Italy when we went to the Gucci outlet? But the one we got didn't have red. It's only black. I don't know what these deals. I feel like we can do better. Mm -hmm. This is not a store? Oh. Okay. oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's a different day, and we're on our way to Comehio again because the one we went to last time apparently was just like an office, even though it showed up on the map as an actual store. Okay, Comehio. I want to see what stuff they have. I'm not sure if I'll be able to actually buy anything just because, really, I don't feel like shopping for expensive stuff on this trip. We just had an iced tea, and it was $7. Seven. So I don't know. I just feel like everything here is really expensive. So I'm not sure if the deals are actually that good. And also, we forgot our passport so we can't do the tax free thing and save coins but still i'm gonna bring you guys along so you know what it's like so you know the experience also one of you guys told me on my instagram my instagram is this if you don't follow me there already but she told me there's also luxury outlets here in japan but they're about two and a half hours away from here so maybe next time guys should we come back to japan but if you come and you feel like going all the way out for the luxury outlet then now you know you got the information all right we're here that's the store whoa it's huge
Oh, so there's a lot more stuff here. I feel like it's actually a nicer store too. I feel like it's more like a store. The other one was like in the basement. This is cute. Let's see the price. So this is almost $2,000. Looks great. This looks brand new. It's crazy. If this is used, whoever was using it, I admire you because this is so clean, so pretty. It was like $1,500. So I just went on the website and this is actually $1,300. So here it's even more expensive and it's a used bag. That's crazy. Japan is so expensive, you guys. Maybe this would be good if you're looking for like a specific design that's sold out. Look at this. This is beautiful. I remember when this came out and I was like, I don't know. That doesn't feel like you can wear it for too long. I still feel the same way. This one is stunning. So this one is $1,700 and it says it's 10% off. See, it's used. I mean, it's in a great condition though. It looks really, looks really good. The inside looks great. Honestly, they take such good care of their bags, whoever's selling them to the store, because whoa. There's a bunch of coats, Gordo. They always say you need to get something. Explain. I need a coat. It's true. Well, it's really hot here, but I don't know. Every time I'm shopping, you guys are like, why isn't Gordo buying anything? Ask him. Gordo, why aren't you buying anything? I don't want anything. I have everything I need. Aww. Like a new shirt. Maybe. Like a new t-shirt. Okay. <laughs> I love this bag. I need it. So this was like two thousand. Yeah. And guys, again, you don't like it? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's so cool. I know that's not an exact conversion. It's just kind of like what I'm doing to figure out the prices fast. I like that you can actually touch the bags here. I think they're much better. I think they're much prettier than the brand off. So I think this store is actually better. This one though, I feel like this will be a really good find. I've never seen that bag before, and it's. I mean, price wise, it's good. This one's seven hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred. And almost 2000 Even though it's my understanding that this one's less famous. Okay, so look at this backpack. This is insane. So, okay, it's $1,200, which it's like kind of half off for this backpack. But look, it's pretty damaged. I mean, if you're paying $1,200, I don't know. Look at it here and all these little details. I will admit though, I'm not the best with purchasing used items because I've only done that a couple times and usually when it's like, it looks brand new. She was coming, I was like, are we getting kicked out of here? But no, so far so good. 2,500 and this, I mean, I don't know. This backpack is so cute. I have never seen this backpack before. So see, I feel like if you want to find things that are a little bit different, then it's good. But if you're really going to buy just like a regular bag, I don't know if it's the best price. Whoa, that's a little expensive. Okay, so this backpack was originally like $3,300. So I think that's good. So how, how much is it now? Right now it's $1,800. So I feel like that's a good price just because it's different. It's something that you might not find everywhere. And it's in a good condition. Okay, so one thing that I think will be worth getting if you're looking for that. So this one is usually $1,200 and here they have it for $800. Okay, that's good. I mean, no, because it's it's used and it's mm. this one's pretty heavily used. I don't know, maybe save your coins and get the regular one or go to the Gucci outlet. That's better. Yeah. This is probably like $600 at the Gucci outlet yeah. if they have it, but yeah. So expensive, but I know these are hard to find. I know this sold out really fast. So I understand that also. Basically, I feel like oh, it looks just like my bag, but the red one. This actually feels a really good price. This is pretty much what it sold for, but right now they're really hard to find because this sold out super quick. And they're selling some of these for like $5,000. And it's made out of plastic, you guys, but it's super cute. What do you think? I don't think it's worth it. You don't think it's worth it? No. But if you really want the bag, at least you can find it here. Okay, so we got the Go Yard right here. So this one is $1,400. A new Goyard is like $1,200. I think that's how much mine was. I don't know, this is weird. It's so weird because some things are more expensive. Some things are like similar. This one's beautiful. I'm not sure because the one I have is black because this one is $1,700. So it's even more expensive. Maybe because of the color? I don't really know. I bought mine a while ago, so I'm not 100% sure. But that's insane. I, honestly, I love my Goyard bag, but it's really not very convenient because it has no pockets. I don't think I would pay $1,700. This. So this is really similar to the Gucci pouch we got at the outlet, but it's smaller and I believe they were about the same price and mine was brand new. All right, let's try and head up upstairs. Honestly, if you live in Japan, if you're in Japan, this is great, but if you're coming from the US, I'm not really sure there's the spot to get just stuff. Just get some souvenirs, you guys. <laughs> Look at the little ties. These are so cute. This is $400. I think that's okay. I mean, it's a really unique shoe and it's not heavily used. You guys know if you use these just a little bit, then they'll scratch all over. Oh, 36 and a half. My big old feet ain't fitting in there. Ooh, this little Chanel skirt. Okay, I'm for sure not fitting in here. No way this is gonna fit me. Oh, this one's gorgeous. How much is this one? Oh my God, that's the most expensive one I've seen. So this is $700. 
There's no way, no way I'm fitting in this skirt, but it's beautiful. That is the cheapest thing I found so far and it's a hundred dollars. Sorry, but she ain't cute. Not to me, sorry girl, you're going back. Going back in there. You get your shopping and your workout in. There you go. I feel like I should tell you that they have Rolexes and stuff, but we don't really know about that. We don't really know those prices, so I don't know. a lot a lot a lot so i think the prices for the watches are a little bit better because i remember my friend wearing either a watch that looked like this or like that it was like thirty-five thousand, which is i know insane and this is twenty four thousand. not sure if i would call it a sale though i'm like okay i guess if you're comparing it to this one which is over fifty thousand dollars so this is jewelry i don't know why i get so excited about that it's like scary to even look at it we should try and find a love bracelet. A love bracelet, right? Yeah, so you can be like, oh, they have the Jukku. I don't know. The Jukku. The nail. The nail one. Yeah, nail one. <laughs> well, this is expensive. This seven thousand dollars, like six thousand, seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand. Okay, so that's used. See, it's exactly the same price as it is brand new. No, just don't do that to yourself. So this one is also basically the same as it is brand new on the Cartier website, because. On Cartier, it says 12,000. All right, let's see what else we got. They do a lot of stuff. Like, they have everything. Found the love bracelets, but they all have diamonds. They don't have, like, the basic one. I literally just said they had everything, and now it's like, mm, no, sorry, not that, ma'am. If you have a cool 100 grand for a used diamond ring, there you go. So these are a lot more expensive. On the website, these are 3,500, and here, they're, like, 4,000 something. Honestly, I just don't know. I feel like they have some cute stuff. Some things are an okay price, but I don't feel like anything is like, oh my god, it's the best bargain I've ever had in my entire life. I just, I mean, I don't think so, but let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so that store is for sure to find things that you maybe wouldn't usually find anywhere else. I wouldn't recommend buying just like a regular item that's always in stock, at least not if you're coming from the US. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think about it. What would you buy? But anyway, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!